you know, EDP 445 and taking accountability go hand in hand like drinking and driving. For the few that missed the joke, they don't go together. And today's video is no exception. Now for the people who don't know who EDP 445 is or don't know what he did, um, he's basically the internet's most notorious PDF file. This dude has been caught multiple times doing inappropriate things with, in quotation marks, cupcakes, okay? I know YouTube likes to be very iffy on the censorship, but this guy's tried to meet up with cupcakes, he's messaged cupcakes and appropriately and all around he's just a pretty bad guy i know guys absolute shocker hottest take of the century right there now in today's video we're going to be talking about edp's in quotation marks apology video now the reason i say in quotation marks is because this guy spends about the majority of the video just pinning all the issues and all the problems onto other people rather than just taking accountability and just being like hey i messed up i did what i did I caused all this, I'm sorry, I'm trying to improve, and then move on. But for EDP to do something like that would be like me hitting the lottery. It just ain't gonna happen. Now there's two things I want to go ahead and get out the way before we do get into EDP's video. First of all, it seems YouTube doesn't really care that EDP is quite literally violating TOS, not only, you know, by the things he's done in the past, but by literally ban evading. Like, he's been banned off of YouTube already, and he has this new channel that's been doing extremely well, been getting thousands of views, thousands of likes, thousands of comments thousands of subscribers and he's been on youtube now for almost a month so here's what we're gonna do rather than just spreading awareness about this guy making videos on him let's ratio him and what i mean is let's get my channel to 17,000 subscribers because right now edp is at almost 16,000 as of recording this video so let's go ahead and get my channel to just a tiny bit more than his channel just to ratio him because hey if youtube isn't gonna do anything about him we may as well ratio him so make sure to subscribe like and comment get this video out into the algorithm so we can ratio EDP. And one last thing before we do get into the video, make sure to check out the Discord server link in description. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Let's just go ahead and get into the video. Let's not waste any more time. People are going to paint their narrative on you based on what they want to believe, especially when it comes to the internet and social media. One thing I want you guys to understand is that when you're dealing with trolls, when, you, when you're dealing with people on the internet who can just leave a comment and just run off to the scurries of their own, you know, hiding spots, is that there's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. There's no getting through to them. There's no, you know, trying to get these people to understand um, where you are at, at that point in time in your life, you know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that. I'll be the first person to tell you, I was in a very dark place in my life, very dark place. You know, um, had the fame, had the money, you know, um, had the status, you know. Um, I thought that I couldn't be touched. You paid the price for it, you know. All right, so we got a few things to unpack here, and let's just go ahead and start off with the first thing, and that's people painting narratives based off of what they want to believe. Now, obviously, this doesn't really apply to EDP because, let's face it, there are a ton of valid reasons to hate EDP. So when people hate on EDP, it's not because they're trying to run with a narrative that they painted of him. It's because he kind of made the narrative himself. And then he tries to go on and say that there's no reconciling with people and yada, yada, yada. It's like, well, if you just made a genuine apology and just made a video where you took full account accountability for your actions, then maybe people would have a bit more sympathy towards you. And then he goes on to say that he was in a very dark spot. And me personally, that just kind of sounds like he's trying to slightly justify things and trying to make things as less bad sounding as they were. It's like, I don't care if you were in a dark spot or a good spot, you still did it. You still did those actions and you need to take accountability and change. It doesn't matter what spot you were in. But like I said earlier, accountability and EDP just don't really go together. Now, one thing I want you guys to understand, you know, another thing I want you guys to understand it, and of course, you know, there's going to be those motherfuckers out there, oh, EDP, just because you were in a dark place, that doesn't justify what you did. First off, don't try to put words up in my mouth. We're not here for that. Um, I'm here to explain to you where I was at in my headspace a few years ago. Well, that's a really fancy way of avoiding accountability. You know what I mean? The only thing that you can do as a human being when you make a mistake to this magnitude is to take responsibility for your actions, take accountability for your actions, understand that there is an issue, right? Understand that this is not normal. 
You know what I mean? To have these type of behaviors, they are not normal, right? Get the necessary help, whether it's talking to a psychiatrist, talking to a therapist, um, you know, it could even be it could even be as simple as talking down to your I'm sorry, sitting down and talking to your family members. And overall, just trying to make sure that the same mistake doesn't happen again. And you learn from your mistake. That's all you can do. You know, the crazy part is, is that people are going to hear that and they're going to be like, oh, EDP, he's spit in truth. You know, he's changed. He's really changed as a person. When really all he's doing is he's sprinkling in a little bit of truth here and a little bit of truth there to distract you from the main thing. And that is just him avoiding accountability. Tell me this, EDP, if you really were changing as a person and evolving as someone, you regret what you did from three years ago. And why would you go on to groom more minors? I'm sorry, I just don't really see how EDP has changed as a person or evolved as a person and just try to improve yourself as a person if that's not good enough for people well then that sounds like a personal issue to me you haven't showed any signs of remorse or change of course people are still going to treat you badly now a lot of people they like to assume right just because i haven't came out and made some big ass crying video you know what i mean um making a about myself all hysterical on camera and shit like that that i show no remorse you literally aren't showing remorse i'm sorry but when i see a video called mistakes were made and i click on it and the first like minute to two minutes is essentially spent talking about the actions of other people and how the internet's mean and how there's no reconciling with trolls on the internet and you were in like a really dark spot i'm sorry but to me all that sounds like is a bunch of excuses that couldn't be any more further from the truth you know what I mean? Um, what I want you guys to realize is the fact that I have sat down and I have apologized to my family, right? I've apologized to my diehard friends. And when I say diehard friends, I mean my friends who I, I openly admit, I forgot about because... I was surrounded by so many clout chasing motherfucking people who only really cared about me based on my internet and social media status. You feel me? I'm not going to mention their name. I'm not going to put them out there like that. You guys know exactly who you are. Sat down with them, apologized to them, heartfelt apology. You know what I mean? And we made amends. We talked about it. And we move on. That's all you can do. Now, look, I'm not going to speak for any of EDP 445's victims, but I think you owe them an apology, too. Like, apologizing to your family is the first step. You didn't do any of the others. Also, you apologize to your family in private, and you're acting like the internet's going to know about that. Oh, the internet's being so mean to me, and they're acting like I haven't changed as a person. I did change as a person. I just didn't tell anybody about it besides my family. Like, yeah, of course the internet's still going to be mean because they thought you didn't change. And to be honest with you guys, I still don't think he's changed. Now, as far as fucking weirdos oh, hitting me up on Instagram, you know, I'm going to show you guys some bullshit. I'm, you know, I'm going to tell y'all some bullshit. So, there are literally 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, you know what I mean, DMing me, hitting me up on Instagram, and they'll fucking type this message and they'll be all like, oh my God, are you the real EDP? And the moment I respond with, yes, I am, what they'll do, right? And they think that they're sneaky about this shit, right? Um, malicious intent. You feel me? I made a video a long time ago. <clears throat> and it was a video where I talked about, obviously, adults should be held accountable. And they should be, um, they should get in trouble for messaging minors and engaging in those type of conversations in that particular way, right? I also feel minors should get in trouble for messaging 
adults, you feel me, having a very malicious intent behind their messages, you feel me? And this is what I mean. This one chick, she messaged me, right? And she goes, oh my God, are you the real EDP? I respond back with, bitch, how old are you? And who the f sent you? You know, you could just avoid that entire issue by, you know, uh, not responding to them. It's very easy to just, you know, click the block button and just not interact with anybody you think is under the age of 18. Like, why do you feel the need to respond and be like, oh yeah, I'm the real OG EDP 445. It's like, if you know something negative is going to come out of that interaction, then why start the interaction in the first place? If you know it's got to be some sort of bait and some sort of setup and some sort of malicious intent, then why respond? Right? Because I know f well Skeeter John, Gideon, and all these fake ass want to be Chris Hansen impersonating motherfuckers. More than likely they fing sent you. You know what I mean? But there's no life f ass, right? Bitch, how old are you and who sent you? Oh, I'm 14. Screenshot. Let's go ahead and tag Gideon and let's go ahead and tag f Skeeter John or whatever the f his name is, right? Skeeter John, Gideon, get him! Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of these whole YouTube predator catching channels either. Not because they catch predators, but because they kind of mess with cases and they always tend to muddy things legally, which most of the time it ends up working in favor of the predator, which is, you know, really bad. But like, dude, you could avoid all of this just by, you know, not responding. Like I said this earlier, I'll say it again. Oh, I'm getting set up. Oh, somebody sent them. Don't respond. Nobody is forcing you to respond to that person. You see what the f you're doing, right? Purposely messaging, not just me, purposely messaging people, right? To f with them, which ultimately leads to harassment, right? Showing up at your f job, tracking where you work at, f you know, showing up at your mother dialysis center, you know what I mean? Trying to find out, you know, what type of community that you live in, right? Storming the leasing office and shit like that. Storming HOA offices and shit like that. You know what I mean? Fucking with you out in public at the grocery store. You feel me? Throwing shit at your motherfucking window as you're at a fucking stoplight when somebody recognizes you. You feel me? Motherfuckers trying to, you know, you have a P.O. box set up and shit. Motherfuckers is able to track that shit down and, and, and storm the little and place of business and shit. with the lady, with the sweet lady. You feel me? Minding her own business, good people, good spirited people, right? Try to maintain a business, right? And here come your no life motherfucker because you thought it was funny to take a screenshot and send it and send it to these no life impersonating getaway botched up sting operation fake ass impersonating chris hansen mother you feel me to f with you to ruin your life now look i don't think any of that is justified of course you know if people are going in real life and you know messing with people and you know all for the sake of like trying to mess with edp then yeah i don't really think that's right and i'm by no means defending edp but like dude if he or somebody else has a gun if you throw a rock through somebody's window or you throw something at them while they're at like an intersection or at a stoplight what is legally stopping them from defending themselves you know people can argue oh but it's edp you know he deserves this that legally doesn't matter and look guys i'm the biggest hater of edp i hate the way that he walks the way that he talks and i'm saying let's not go harass him in real life because let's be real here the risk is too high for the reward and there really isn't any reward now something i don't like is that edp tries to frame this as if this all came from like the screenshots and whatever from like the trolls like messaging him on instagram being like oh are you the real edp yeah i'm 14 screenshot it's like no that all didn't come from like you know one or two screenshots posted by some like trolls that came from your consistent track record of predatory behavior am i saying it's right that people are going in real life and you know throwing rocks through people's windows harassing people at businesses no but what i am saying is you kind of did do this to yourself you feel me let me ask you something just because you think a person is guilty or not guilty right what the f under the law, what the f gives you the right to go out and start harassing people, right? 
And then when they've decided that they've had enough and they pull out that gun and they shoot your mother right? All of a sudden, it was just a prank. All of a sudden, it wasn't that serious. You know what I mean? To try to drag them back to a place where they were once at. You know what I mean? To try to f*** with them. I don't give a f*** how you try to paint the situation, how much you try to dress it up. It's not good. That is some. That is a malicious act, and it's fucked up. Yeah, not gonna lie, I don't think anyone's in quotation marks trying to paint the situation. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't really seen a lot of people defending, going, and harassing EDP in real life. It's not like I'm seeing Skeeter John give out a Corvette to the first person to go throw a rock through EDP's window. Why do you guys think it took me so long to make the... That ghetto piece of shit, you know, half-assed apology video where I had the Barack Obama voiceover. I know, and my friends know, like I mentioned before in the earlier stages of the video, there's no reconciling with these motherfuckers. You feel me? There's no winning with these on the line. You feel me? Not even if you're trying to win. You're just trying to get them to understand where you were um, from a mental standpoint back up in the day. And no, that's not justifying this shit, right? You got to keep on throwing in that this is not me trying to justify it because they got selective hearing, right? Nobody has selective hearing. You're literally just trying to justify things. I'm sorry, but when you say, oh, I'm not trying to justify things, and then you go on to try and explain, well, guys, I was in a bad mental state three years ago, and, you know, uh, I was just in a really dark spot in my life. It's like that is literally justifying things. Because I knew deep down, right, no matter how apologetic I was, no matter how sorry I was, or whatever the f They're going to throw that bullshit at you. Oh, you're only making the video and you're only crying in the video because you got caught. Okay. Let's not make the video then. Oh, you need to take accountability and responsibility. You need to cam up and address your fans. The only people that I need to address are my friends and my family members that I hurt deeply by my actions. And the victims, EDP, don't forget the victims. Those are the only people that I need to address and that I have addressed privately. I'm not gonna come on here. I'm not gonna cry my heart out and get on my hands and knees and grovel and beg for your forgiveness. Why? Because you guys, like I mentioned before, you guys already painted a narrative on me. You guys think that I'm this terrible monster. So what's the point? Well, the video ends there, and I just gotta say, one last thing I wanna say is, this entire video has just been a giant justification. I mean, seriously, from the, oh, I was in a bad mental state three years ago, to the weird pinning of all the harassment and drama onto Skeeter Jean and Gideon, and then saying that the fans want a video of him crying and begging on his knees for forgiveness. It's like, nobody wants that, you're just being dramatic. Realistically, I think everybody just wants this guy locked up, or at the very least just a genuine apology but with all that being said that's gonna go ahead and conclude things for this video let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below make sure to like the video for the algorithm and also check out the discord link in description and with all that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace